Have you ever recorded your microphone with NVIDIA Shadowplay and had a crackling sound like this? So here we are, the main menu. Already looks gorgeous. If not, then this is not your issue and you can close the video now. If you had such an issue, then I might just have a temporary solution for you that worked for me. I think this should be solved by NVIDIA and not by us, but in case you are in a hurry and uh, you want to keep using Shadowplay for recording, uh, then this might just help you. So welcome to the video. It is quite important to say that all these recordings uh, were taken by me, you know, just playing around with the settings uh, in Windows. Um, mainly what I was changing was the frequency, the bit depth, and also one setting um, that you can find under uh, advanced tab in the properties of uh, recording devices and playback devices. Uh, this setting is called exclusive mode. Um, I was allowing this by ticking both tick boxes below. I'm not sure if this changed anything. Some people say it did, some people say it didn't. I was just not quite sure, you know, and I just wanted to try all the possibilities. However, uh, I managed to get my wished uh, result without any crackling so um, if you want to you know see me go through all the tests um, to see what i changed uh, what was the outcome of that you can just keep watching if you want to see just the final result or uh, the the fix just uh, jump on the timeline to the next chapter that is called the fix and uh, yeah in the following tests, you will see each particular attribute uh, being written uh, with white, uh, whilst um, in the changing attributes or the values are written in red. So yeah, let's go. Okay, now we are recording again with the both um, fields ticked. However, our uh, not recording device, recording device is set to 24-bit 96 uh, kilohertz, but the uh, playback device is set to 16-bit 96 kilohertz, which might have been the issue because for some reason, and I don't know why, I had this one set to 16-bit. So we'll see if this does anything. Um, I don't know. Let's see. All right, and we are recording again, and now we have the playback device to 16-bit and the recording device to 24-bit. However, we have these both options unticked, so we'll see if we see any cracking uh, sounds. Okay, and this is this should be the last test as we are finally closing. Uh, to the end because we were able to reproduce the cracking um, so now we have all set to the same settings which means playback and recording devices are set to 24 bit 96 kilohertz studio quality all right and here we are uh, we are recording again but um, as unexpected um, there was a cracking sound, even though being set to the same 24-bit 96 kilohertz um, without um, anything ticked. So what I did was I ticked both the playback and recording device to allow um, exclusive control of applications. And we'll see what it does now, stopping now. All right, I thought maybe um, NVIDIA Shadowplay is not able to record anything higher than 44,100 uh, hertz. So I went to 24 bit, uh, 44 kilohertz um, on both playback and recording devices. We'll see what this does. I disallowed, so I unticked uh, both uh, playback and recording devices um the possibility so we'll see we'll see if something changes okay interesting finding we found out that 44,000 hertz at 24 bit quality does not crack however the audio quality is really bad 
when it comes to uh, the audio itself. So I thought maybe it is still like it's better because it doesn't crack, but it's still bad for NVIDIA Shadow Play because you cannot record at 24 bit maybe. So I just went to the absolute bottom, which is 16 bit, 44 kilohertz. If not, we'll go to 48 kilohertz. We'll see. I'm stopping recording now. All right, and last one try. The audio quality became better. It was not so. Uh, it was not so bad. It was it was bad, but not so bad. Um, still not what I expected though. And uh, now I just turned on allow the exclusive uh, control of the applications. And we'll see if this does anything at all. Okay, so we are on both devices unticked for allow, exclusive control, and we are at 48 kilohertz, 16-bit, uh, as we found out that 16-bit was significantly better than 24-bit the last time, at least for NVIDIA Shadowplay. I'm not saying it is better for all purposes, of course it is not, because it's less data, but for NVIDIA Shadow Play, it obviously doesn't pose such a big problem. So stopping recording now. Um, now we are testing uh, unticked both options and uh, 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. We'll see on both devices if this is going to do something. Um, if yes, then this is the main culprit that uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay just cannot handle 24-bit recordings. And um, the 48,000 then will be the best option uh, for NVIDIA Shadowplay. Well, let's go for it. Okay, so to my surprise, 24-bit um, was not the issue. Um, I'm still testing it now because I'm still recording now um, at 48,000 uh, hertz, 24 bit on both devices with all um, unticked, all options unticked. Um, theoretically, if this is all right and there are no cracks in the sound in my voice, um, this should work. So 48,000 hertz, 24 bit or 16 bit. I used both and they were okay uh, on both devices the recording and the playback device uh, with um, 256 um, buffer size okay let's go all right and we are trying one last um, test if this works it's definitely the uh, kilohertz because it worked in the, like the last two times with 48,000 and it did not work with 96,000, so we'll see. Um, I just hope that this is the case for all. You know, I'm just trying it the third time in a row for 24 bit, and that is not just uh, an ex special exception. So, yeah, let's go for it. Right, as you could see, the final test was probably the best and the most stable one. Uh, however, in order to achieve no crackling, we had to go lower with uh, the recording quality. I would like to confirm that what you hear me saying at this very second is recorded uh, with the same Audio-Technica 2035 microphone at 96,000 Hz, 24-bit depth, uh, but uh, in Premiere Pro directly and not using Shadowplay. Therefore, the quality is quite different to what you just heard in the tests. I'm not an audio technician and therefore I'm only using simple language here um, and my very basic knowledge to troubleshoot this. I did Google this particular issue and also searched on YouTube and I could not find anything that would help and therefore I decided to create this video. Uh, mostly people recommended to reinstall Shadowplay or to downgrade to an older version. However, this unfortunately did not work for me. I hope this will help at least a few of you. Um, if yes, please let me know in case you have any other questions. Um, just, you know, ask in the comments. I'm replying to every single one of you guys. So for now, have fun recording and I'll see you in the next video.